Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and today we are using up scraps on our desk and grabbing a greeting card to transform into something more fun with the scraps in our desk, or on our desk. I have a couple things I made here the other day, and I want to see if I can incorporate them. I've got the envelope too, so uh, let's just see where this goes. Okay, so I've got some <clears throat> whatnot. I seem to have developed a little cold. Um, Excuse me for that. I thought what wasn't a cold. Apparently it's a cold. So there you go. Um, so it might be a shorter video today because I can't talk very much. But um, okay. So here's a card. Let's transform it. Uh, oh, okay. We have some of this, which is good, but we can see through it. So the easy way around that is to get a masking piece of paper. And I'm going in my scrap bin, pulling out a pile of whatnot. I found this bent piece of cardstock. You can even use regular printer paper and just mask it okay that will work and let's use um are, is anybody having trouble getting the scotch create glue stick permanent glue stick i had a few people say they have a hard time finding it i don't know if um the company stopped making it or something or maybe they switched to a new something or new packaging or something but um or maybe i bought every last um tube <laughs> that's possible um but anyway let me know if that's like a thing out there if I need to investigate it, because I will take a look, um, see what's going on. Because I really like it. I hope they didn't stop making it. Oh, that would really, that would really fry my panties. You know, I'd really have to um, <laughs> go and discover a new glue. Oh my goodness! Well, somebody suggested a glue that I'm not familiar with, so I might give that one a go. Um, you know, it's all about exploration and trying things on for size. Now let's get a. What are you, little munchkin? You are a nice craft knife. We hope you are sharp. And the ruler of all rulers is where? Where could you possibly go? There's really nowhere for you to go. Oh, here you are, hiding amongst the things. Uh, so I think I'm going to <clears throat> very gingerly cut this and just make it the shape of the card so it fits. <clears throat> this is just a 20-pound piece of copy paper. And so now that magically fits exactly, which is kind of nice. And now if we want to apply... <clears throat> excuse me. If we want to apply some paper on top, we can do that without it showing through. So that's the easy way around that. Um, and we are all about the easy way around here. Okay, let's just get that there. And let's just glue this puppy down and transform this card. It's pretty easy. And you really, you know, you can use a lot or a little. You can use blank papers, you can collage, you can uh, layer pigments and colors or, or rubber stamping. Um, <clears throat> so many ways that you could get this, but do definitely get your edges. That's important. Okay, and then in the middle, get the middle. Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is folded over, but I think it's gonna be okay. I think so, I think so. Bring it pretty close to the edge of the spine and then Close to the bottom. I don't know if it's cut flush or not. Don't know. I don't know, but we'll probably ink it. Oh, okay. There, there. It's not there. So we'll just roll with it. Um, and moosh it down. And then we'll flip it over and trim that off. It's like it was never there. There we go. So I hope you guys are having fun today with your papers, creating things. It might be a little chilly in different parts of the country right now or around the world. Or it might be warm, depending on what part of the country, uh, world you are in. So right now it's a little chilly in Florida. Chilly for us. It's uh, 70s, 60s, uh, where I am. Sometimes like pops up to the 80s and then very quickly goes down. So it's, it's amazing. Right around Halloween time, it's almost like somebody flips a switch. All right. So now we have this little area of unbeknownst. And oh, you're kind of cool. I'm going to put you on there. Um... But we do want to cover this up with something. And <clears throat> maybe we want to do a little collage on here. Family of finches. That's kind of nice. All right. I'm in the family of finches. We'll just, we'll finch you. Finch this. <laughs> I like using field, um, field guide nature things in uh, crafting. Um, they're fun. And they're pretty easy to find. If you really put your mind to it, you'll find them. There out there. Yeah, but it's got some nice little branches on there. I think I'll just come in here with a dauber. 
And guess what? It's going to be the brown one. Yeah, it's going to be the well loved brown one. See, it's still loaded with ink. Barely have to do anything to it. Could even spritz it if I wanted to, but there's just that one little area there that didn't get something on it. So, so I think this is going to be collage. Yeah, okay. So let's go around the edges and ink it up a little bit. It's a very simple project, great one for beginners. Uh, maybe you've got some old cards lying around that, you know, they're kind of goofy, like, um, you know, the wiener jokes here with the little wiener dog. Um, maybe, but the, the structure of the card is sound, and maybe you want to make something with it. And you can, that's a nice thing. Um, we can also cover up all these little in interesting little things. Um, now, maybe we could cover that. Okay, let's do that. We're just going to cover it with glue. And you could make this as a removable in a, in a junk journal, or you could make it, uh, you could actually glue the back down if you didn't want to decorate the back and just glue it to a page and, and it could operate as such. Yes, okay. So, I um, have that. But I think I'm going to decorate the back. I think that might just be fun. And uh, something a little different. Maybe, hmm, I think these guys might make a very nice uh, pocket in the back. <clears throat> well, let's do that, but then I just, I need to put something over that. So, here, here's some, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. Okay, we're going to collage that on there as I'm scrambling for my Scotch Creek glue stick. Where, where art thou? Okay, there we go. I'm going to all nice and glueish. All right. Okay. Yep. I get it. Yeah, looks pretty good. So you get all your edges down. That's a funny little thing we have there. Oh, somebody's hair. Imagine that would be mine. Um, you know, even if you're not feeling that good, it's it's good to craft. So there you go. Because <clears throat> you know you're not going to be feeling good sitting over there. You might as well craft. You know what I mean? It's kind of like. I think that should be a t-shirt. You might as well craft. Because, you know, let's face it. What else is going on? Not much. You're circling for snacks. Sally calls yet again. <laughs> and uh, all my friends are going to be mad at me now. Um, so funny. Um, I love you all. And you can call as many times as you want. If you're watching. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> okay, like that. That's good. Okay, that's going to cover that. I need something here. Or maybe I can can put this here like that would just finish it off nicely wouldn't it yes I think so okay so let's just do that I don't think I have to cut it or anything I'll just put more glue down yeah how about that okay here we go nice edge and if your edges aren't perfect you can soften them up with a sanding block or a sanding sponge which is never a bad idea I mean it just it, it just harkens and it harkens okay if anybody was hearkening, it would be the sanding sponge. Okay, I'm looking for the brown ink. Here it is in its vintage photo. If you don't have uh, brown ink, you can use shoe polish or makeup, something like that. You know, go through those drawers, look for pigment. Um, chalk will work. Um, foundation will work. Get it on a little sponge and do it sparingly. Um, yeah, you can use a lot of different things for pigment. That's right. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> now I think I will do this with Fabrifix. And if you haven't seen it, that's what it looks like. Fabrifix. Made by Beacon. Um, yes, it's clear silicone glue. Fabric to fabric. Fabric to paper. Paper to paper. This is a postcard. Oh well, I'm sacrificing a vintage postcard. Or um, it's probably Victorian. This one looks very old. Oh well. Say la vie. Um, there we go. But it will be honored and enjoyed. I think I do need the, uh, the sanding sponge. Okay, come here. These things last a long time too with paper that's not really, it softens the edges. So giving it a nice, um, what's that noise? It sounds like maybe running their water or something. Um, uh, <clears throat> yes. So are you gluing together? Or what is going on here? Do I see peel? I see peel up. No, we cannot have the peely uppies. We must deal with that right away and rid ourselves of that. Okay. Now, what do we have? This is the back. 
Okay, that's the inside and the front. So we need some focal points or something. Let's see. Um, it would be nice if maybe you could toss a digi kit on there, Pam. What do you think? Oh, you got a thousand of them around here. All right. They, they make nice focal points. It gives you something to focal points on. Focus on. Yeah. That's what we do with our focal points. Oh, what's this? This is a weird piece of paper. Okay. It's like a big butterfly. This is printed from your email. It is the same with the digi kit. Okay. Um, could be like a partial. I guess we could do this right inside too. That would be kind of awesome. Hmm. But I was thinking of putting this inside because I thought that just handles all of that, that nonsense. Yes. So now here they're talking about a dachshund. Let us not be confused. It is innocent. Okay. And this is going to fit very nicely there. Just a cool book page with a uh, digikit pocket on here. And now we're going to ink it up a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little spritz of water. Just wake that up. Okay. Okay. Spot up there. Get in view. Um, I need some coffee. It's the middle of the day, but you know what I'm saying? Would be a good idea. All right. Nothing like a little inking to make it pop. And make it look vintage or antique. Okay, there we go. That's very nice. Maybe it would look better over here. <clears throat> then I still have to do something with that. Okay, that's all right. I have an idea. I have backup idea. Okay, so let's get this. Oop, and let's glue this down. All right. Okay. I think my voice is like three octaves lower than it is normally. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's make sure it's not in the fold. No, it's not in the fold. So that's good. We can get rid of that extra glue by doing the rolling maneuver technique. And maybe we want to just emphasize this central area. Okay, so we have that. And then I thought I'd take this. This is some version of a stencil. I made stenciled paper and I think I'm going to put this here and I think that might actually look pretty cool. Um, so let's give that a go. Let's just put it everywhere. Let's put the glue stick everywhere we want it to stick. Then we'll put the paper on it and then we'll use the craft knife to snip it around and that'll be the, I think the easiest way to do it. Mm. At least I think so. Um, feel free to measure. This girl's not doing it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay, let me make sure we're not in the fold. No, we are good. We're good. Yeah. Okay, just mushing it down. All right, let's go in the back. Come along here and we will trim it. Now I think I could tear it. Oh, that might even be faster. Look at that. The heck with the craft knife. We'll just tear it. And that'll give us a nice little roughed up edge. Okay, yep, and maybe we will just run over that with the old our old friend sanding block. Yeah. Little tail here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, I think we got to go all the way around. Bring in the vintage photo. We need to vintage it up. I know I'm flopping around on you, going back to front, front to back, inside out, outside in. But g old greeting cards are an excellent uh, resource. So if you're kind of thinking, like, I got nothing to play with, go look in your old greeting card bucket. Maybe there's something in there that you can you can use. Um, what's this? This is Baby Jesus. That might look kind of cool. That's the right color scheme. Let me... <coughs> I kind of cornered myself with that pink and blue, but oh, this one didn't come out very well. <laughs> That's why it's in there. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Got a few here. All right. Oh, mm, that's pretty. I do like these. These are some of my favorites. And that one looks pretty good. 
Maybe not the right color scheme. Mm-hmm. Nope. Looking, looking. Nope, nope. Not in the wrong color. Oh, here's the pink. Yeah, that's got some pink and blue in it. I think that might work. You're a contender. Plus, we also have trees here. Trees. Trees, trees. <clears throat> okay, well, I think we're going to go with the pink and the blue. Mm hmm. And I think I'm going to tear it out. Yeah. Which one is this? Hmm. Botanical sketches? Nope, that's a black and white one. Um, um, botanical. Uh, I can't remember the name of my own digi kit. Um, let me see if I can find it. Maybe I can find it quickly. I make all these promises, I'm going to put them down below, and I forget half the time. I know, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. No, not there. Let's go in here. I know I see it all the time. It's not like I don't know where it is. I know exactly where it is if I would just keep putting the same thing. Okay, it is. Botanical illustrations from the 1800s. That's what it is. So we're breathing new life into this old drawing. So this was originally drawn. Well, this is a copy. But it was originally drawn in the 1800s. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it fit. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, but now we yes, we have to do the pop. Okay, just so it has some poppage. Okay. I like the torn edges. I like that look. Now you can turn this into a belly band, a pocket, or a tuck. But I'm just gonna make a simple focal point, and um, it's gonna keep it nice and thin. Easy to put in any junk journal. Paper clip, it's tucked into a pocket, or um, whatnot, you know? You know what I mean? Like a little whatnot. You don't know what it's going to be until you're done. That's the way these things go, especially when you're using up scraps. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so we have that. That's kind of cool. And we have that. This is a paper they can write on here. They can tuck something in. I could put something there that they would like. Maybe they would like this. How about that? There we go. That fits. Maybe we want to put a little um, rubber stamp at the top, just denoting something. Um, so let's denote something. Yeah, we got one of those. You can put a few here. Make it like a little bushel of them at the top. Very nice. Very easy. And you could even, if you were feeling wild and fancy town, you could come in and draw some lines. You don't have to, but you can. And I kind of like them free-handed because I think it it looks kind of cool. And I like to stagger them a bit. I think it looks very cool. And what does all this mean? Nobody knows, but we're just doing it for the sake of it and the fun of it. And there we go. Now we have something that looks like that. That's kind of cool. So it's all decorated and ready to go in a junk journal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, oh, if you don't know, we have a mega bonus fundle bundle special going on right now. You get a fundle, which is 100 plus pieces of really cool old paper, old ephemera, antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, things like that. And then um, you get, in addition to that, the mega bonus, which is 25 plus pieces of really cool ephemera slash some fabric. So it's a nice combination. It's really an awesome um, bonus, probably one of the best bonuses I've ever run. So you can get those while they last. And uh, you, they're in my Etsy shop. Just buy a, a fondle and it will automatically be included until I announce we are out. Okay, so um, <coughs> um, let's see. Okay, let me find the little fart face. All right, we have somebody in the house. Yes? Hello, everybody. It's Sunshine. Uh, apparently, my voice is not very good today, so we're we're doing our darndest. Um, what am I again, Mom? I, I 
I advanced up the evolutionary scale from cub pup reporter to what was it? I don't even remember anymore. Hmm. Well, you know, how about a really cool pup who again has no ears? Can you stop that? Don't no. Mom, please, you're embarrassing me yet again. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um well, I can't talk very long because apparently my voice will disappear. So, um, the most poignant thing I'm going to say, yes, I know that word. I looked it up, and I try and learn a new word every day to help me with my journalism skills. So, poignant means important, like, like sticking point or important point. Oh, yeah, well, Mom. Make, make, my, make my sunshine voice. Don't talk like yourself. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, this is a very poignant example of me using the word poignant. I saw a squirrel and it was a very poignant moment because I ran after the squirrel and I almost had him. I was so close. Never mind that there was a screened lanai between us, but... I had him. I had him. He was mine. No, I let him go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that. No, no. I'm, I would never eat a squirrel. No. I, I might. Actually, let me think about that. Hmm. Um, anyway, that's all I got today. Happy crafting, everybody. I think I'm going to go back to my little nap place. Good night. Okay, well, it's not nighttime yet. Well, it is for me. Okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> you know, cold medicine makes you do strange things. That's all I can say. Um... So, there you go. Um, what else can I tell you? Thank you for being here. I have a free monthly email newsletter. If you are interested, you can get that emailed to you every month. You get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is, and a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page. And all the freebies are in the very bottom of the email, under the freebie section. Go all the way down. And the link to sign up for that is... Uh, down there in the description box. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I talk about junk journals, paper crafting, life of a crafter, and answering your crafty questions, which is so much fun. And um, I have an Etsy shop. Um, oh, if, and if you want to watch video podcasts, you can watch those on Spotify anytime you want. And also, um, Etsy has, uh, in my Etsy shop, the Paper Outpost Etsy shop, I have... Um, journals and bundles and kits and fundles and um, digi kits, printable downloads. And if you like those but you don't have a printer, I have a print and mail service. All you do is buy the print and mail option and then send me the list of the 10 digi kits that you want. Um, each digi kit has five pages, so that gets you 50 pages printed. I print on nice lightweight cardstock, 110 pound weight cardstock. And um, um, so it's a little stiffer so that you can use it for pockets and tucks and journal cards and bookmarks and focal points and things like that. And also, um, I haven't, um, oh, and you just send me the names. I only need the first two or three words to Pam at paperoutpost.com or um, through Etsy message. And then I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I try and put links to everything I can find. Um, it's an affiliate link. It does help my um, shop, but you do not pay for the, more for the items for using my link. So thank you very much. And I have a t-shirt shop if you're if um, you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip toady, mug, a tote, or a water bottle. I think I put my sweatshirt away already. There you go. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there. It's called the Paper Outpost Facebook group. Um, doing uh, weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. Uh, and most of all, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.